Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze on a far-flung holiday, come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. a.m. Liverpool Airport. While most people are asleep, EasyJet's day has already begun. The first bleary-eyed passengers are being checked in for the 6.35 to Malaga, and for those still feeling half asleep, they're about to get a wake-up call to remember. Good morning, ma'am. Hiya. Helen Spurs is his name. How you doing, baby? How are you? Well, you're beautiful. Can I say you're beautiful? Yeah. It's so nice to be here. Are we going to Las Vegas, ma'am? I'd love to, yeah, but we don't Can I come with you? <laughs> well, I'll, I'll sing you a beautiful song, baby. It's, uh, it's one of my favorite songs. Uh, let's go somewhere. Uh, are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Are you sorry we drifted apart? Does your memory strain to that bright summer day? Tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? Despite what you might think, Elvis impersonator Martin Fox is actually from Manchester, not Memphis. I I'm going to Spain to do a big show tomorrow night, and it's really one of the biggest shows uh, of the year for me. Uh, we've got friends and people there, and we're doing a big 50th birthday party. So I'm really nervous about it. There's a lot of friends there, and uh, I'm looking forward to it at the same time. Ow, he goes, wow, I'm dressed like that, I will never know. Look, at, look, you're missing all that there, what he's doing. <laughs> he's just missed his moves. <laughs> it's got to be something mentally wrong with him, hasn't there? Good morning yeah, dreaming. to you. It's really me, man. How are you? Are you an Elvis fan? Far out. <laughs> you looks more like Elvis just before he died. That was the <laughs> Well, I, I thought I'd come through the airport to just do a bit of a rehearsal, you know, see people's reactions, get settle my nerves and talk to people and uh, get their reaction. because a lot of Elvis fans here at Liverpool. You're nice. You're beautiful, girl. You remind me of my daughter, Alicia Marie. She's beautiful as well. Don't marry Michael Jackson, whatever you do. Just outside Luton, a lorry is overturned on the M1, causing chaos for staff at the EasyJet sales desk. Come on, it's still got 25 minutes, please. Okay, we... Jatin Lodia and Harry Shadedra have just missed check-in for their flight to Amsterdam after being caught in the gridlock. Please. OK, if you, if you Sorry, don't listen what? to me, then I won't deal with you, OK? So it's up to you. Yeah, of course, course you can. You can. Leo, would you like to come yeah. over and deal with these passengers, please? Huh? You need to be here earlier to be able to check in for the flight. Yeah, so what time is, you check in at five past. You'd have to be in here by quarter past. Yeah, it's quarter past now. It's, quarter it's past. twenty past almost now. So five minutes. Five minutes. Oh, that makes on. we can't. I'm really sorry. We yes, can't you, get you, you on can it. Do something. Just we can't do anything. The phase are leaving for another twenty-five minutes. Nope. For EasyJet, customer satisfaction don't mean nothing, yeah? No, don't, that's why it's so cheap. No, for, for the 145 passengers we got on the aircraft, yeah, we'll be there, we'll be there before we take it. We'll, 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 we'll be there, that does not function. We'll, 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 it does we'll function, yeah, it's Leo, listen, rude. we'll be there before the plane takes off, so you won't be no, delayed. It's final, I'm sorry, I can't keep Leo, you can do it, mate, come on, get you on it. We can't get you on it. It's going to be £25 to go on the next one, which is at 1925 You know what? Either that or you lose your whole ticket and then you have to pay again for any Who's your area manager? Sorry? You, you don't look like you can do much, so who's, your, who's above you? Uh, I can give you an address to write no, to. No, 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 I'll speak to him. Okay, if there's no one here now, uh, I just get us in the fly, Leo. Yeah. We ain't going to be no, like that. I can't get okay. you. Come here, come here. I'll double check. You can come, 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 come around and let me double check. I've finished speaking to you. But for now, Leo's finished speaking to them. A little less conversation, a little more action, please. All this aggravation ain't satisfaction in me. A little more bite, a little less spark, a little less fight, a little more spark. Close your mouth and open up your heart, and maybe more spark. I gotta go say hello. How, how are you, man? I gave a letter to the postman. <laughs> he put it in his shop. I've got that. Right near Linux. The, the, the original one. The original. Oh Lord of mercy, worth the fortune, baby. Worth the fortune. Can I have it back? Whew. That's it, man. <laughs> Hey, he's good. I, I, I got a young pretender here, a mini me. Let's actually do some party moves, baby. Come on, do that. Come on. <laughs> you got any of the moves, man? No, as well as you. <laughs> hey, man, Gareth Gates. 
No, it's not. No, I haven't. <laughs> You've just been tangled. Just the way the Las Vegas. <laughs> Take me home, Emma. Elvis is leaving the building. Thank you very much. Leo's back, and he's got some more bad news for Jatine and Harish. Uh, there aren't any more seats for this evening. Huh? There aren't any more seats for next... December 25? No, the next one out is tomorrow morning. What? The next one out is tomorrow morning. You just said there was? There aren't any more seats. There's only about two seats left when you arrived at the desk. So is there anywhere else, anywhere else, like EasyJet? No. Are you telling me there's no way in the, we can get a flight out of Come on, man. Come on, man. Get me. What was it that made you late getting here for the well, airport? Traffic. That's what I wanted to do with us. That's got no, nothing I, to do with me. At the end of the day, I'm going to get on that flight now. You're not going to. Mate, if look, you swear, mate, that'll be it. Mate, the, 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 the plane I let hasn't left look, yet. Come on, get off me, man. You don't understand how much we've done to get here. I do. And what I'm offering you is a transfer rather than having to buy a whole new seat again. There's nothing else, mate, that I can do for you now. Tell them, like, you know, there's the Check with dispatch. You can listen to me. Check with dispatch. Mm -hmm. We beg you. May I have your attention, please? Hiya, it's Leo. Can you just confirm the status of the Amsterdam? Come on, mate, please. please. Tell him we have next flight still to tomorrow morning. Tell him we've been with him. So we've got nowhere to stay, man. He's just che he's checking again now. Already here on stand six. Ask him one more time. Just say, I just, can't. just. Please. Okay, cheers Come for on, checking. Mate. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Okay, you've seen me try, guys. There's really now nothing else I can do. If you so want to get the flight on. tomorrow morning. Well, so what do you want me to do now? It's up to you. There's nothing else I can do. Well, don't walk away from me. There's to nothing you. else I can do. All right, sorry. See you later. You. With language like that, it looks like they're not going anywhere. I can understand the frustration when you come into an airport, you're, you're running to get on your flight, you're really excited, think you're going to make it, and then you meet your brick wall, and it's like... Arr, arr, arr. You just end up going mad at them, but it's not actually going to get him anywhere. But things are about to perk up for Leo. There's a surprise on the Belfast flight to set his pulse racing. Just spotted uh, Nadine from, well, they won the Pop Stars Girls Aloud. Uh, Fascinated, completely fascinated by her. Followed it all the way through. Uh, voted for Girls Aloud as well. So, well impressed. Someone with a smiling face is good to see. I'm going home. Um, I haven't been home in probably about four months or so since Christmas time, so I'm going home now, so I'm really excited. Nadine rocks. We've done a gig today in Northampton, so we've done that, and then we've got a day or two off, so I just came straight to the airport from there. He actually fancies her. He's got a secret confession. Wow. I think he's yeah. sort of in love with her. This has been silly now. Nadine's about to board, so Leo hasn't much time to make his feelings known. Excuse me. Thank you. He's off, and it looks like he may be moving in for the kill. But the competition's got there first. It looks like he'll just have to join the queue. There's a queue. There isn't enough seats to get At the sales desk, Nick Higginson's got a plan that could save the day for Jatine and Harish, but there's a cat. Definitely get you on a plane from Gatwick at 7.15. So it's either you can gamble and wait at Luton and so really, see if you someone cancels me to their flight. Go all the way to Gatwick Airport right now. It's either Gatwick I'm sorry, or... Really, I'll be travelling from 7 o'clock to get to Luton Airport. Now you want me to go from Luton Airport to Gatwick Airport. If you don't, if you don't want to go tonight, then I can send, I can stick you on a plane at 6 o'clock no, tomorrow. No, we need to get there tonight. Yeah? Think I can do it? All right. It's Gatwick or nothing, which means a 70-mile trip in the middle of rush hour. Go like grease lightning. <laughs> we don't have to, we don't right. them What's worse is that they'll have to venture back out onto the M1, where all their problems began. Grease lightning. Oh, thank thank you. You very much. Yeah. In departures, it's Leo's big chance to reveal his secret crush. Okay. Okay. Had a lot of support for you. Oh, thank you. Now, have your autograph, Nadine? Yeah, yeah. Is that all right? Yep, See no problem. Just take the telephone number, Nadine. <laughs> 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 he admires you secretly. He tries not to admit it. But he's what? sitting there shaking. He was just very nervous. Uh, I think you're fantastic. Oh, Say that on camera. She's <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> Thank all right. you. You're all right, Leo. Every luck with everything, yeah? Thank you. Good to nice meet you. Nice. And you. Take all care. Right. See you later, Nadine. See you later. Bye. Bye. Never mind. An autograph's better than nothing.
You've had quite a few not happy faces today. To see a happy, smiling face is fantastic. Coming up on Airline, Aaron gets an earful. OK, you need to tone down your language. OK. And EasyJet turns into Elvis Jet. You ain't never called a rabbit. You ain't no friend of mine. Thank you very much. I love you all. Thank you. Okay. I'm not going to tell you again. You swear at me, okay, or any other staff here, you're not going to miss having Acting supervisor Aaron's story is laying down the law at Luton. Robert Gillespie and his friend have missed boarding their flight home to Glasgow by just minutes. But Aaron suspects something other than frustration could be fueling his anger, drink. Mr. Gillespie insists he's neither drunk nor to blame for missing his flight. What do you say to that end? Yeah, I can't swear it because he's going to say to me, you're not getting on the flight. I said to you, okay, right, your flight's got a little delay on it. Aye, go back to the bar. I said, look, it's okay if we go back. Aye, no problem. I said you can go back, but look at the screens. And where? In the bar? What's on the bar and the beer? There's no screens in the bar, sir. Aye, I know. <laughs> Forget it. That is the last time I'm prepared to be sworn to by right, yourself. Listen, I almost swear to you. I've dealt with him, <laughs> Right. End of story. We got up road tonight. I've offered you a flight to Edinburgh tonight. Right. Okay, you need to tone down your language. Okay. I'm not even sure. I'm not I'm all right. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'll be staying through in departures for the next couple of hours, and if I see them again acting in the way that they have been, then I'll float in straight away. Thirty thousand feet up, and anyone hoping for a relaxing flight is about to discover they're on the wrong plane. I'd like you to give it up, and let's really make this aircraft rock. For the you want and only came of rock and roll, let's hear it for Mr. Elvis Presley. No, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. You're crying all the time. You ain't never caught a rabbit. You ain't no friend of mine. They said you was high class. Well, that was just a lie. They said you was high class. Oh, that was just a lie. You ain't never called a rabbit. You ain't no friend of mine. Thank you very much. I love you all. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Come on, give it up for the one and only. Yeah. Rock and roll, Sarah. Miss Elvis Presley. Thank you. Can I go home now? <laughs> Before he does, he has to drum up an audience for tomorrow night's show in Malaga. I, I love babies. I could manage a full one, but I just love them. Are you coming to the show? Oh, yeah. you, yes, you, you, you know the bar? Made my day, you know? Sue Lord and her friends don't need asking twice. You'll enjoy the show. Uh, yeah. It's the last Vegas show. I think it'd be good uh, entertainment. I really do. I never thought I was going to see Elvis. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not in this life. <laughs> Rock and roll. <laughs> Robert Gillespie's now checking in for the later Edinburgh flight, but eagle-eyed Aaron has been keeping a close watch on his movement. They've already been warned not to drink, but it's come to our attention that they have been in the bar, uh, taking a few down, so... They're going to be denied boarding if they, if they continue with this manner, because it's not acceptable, you know. They can't, they can't travel drunk. Are you OK now? No, don't look. <clears throat> But Aaron's presence seems to be making things worse. Get off. Listen to me now. I'm, I'm no expert. I don't want this flight. I don't want this flight. I warned you, right, we'll I you, 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 you about your language, sir. They've both been drinking. One of them seems to have handled the alcohol better than the other. He's extremely abusive and disruptive, and, you know, I'm in a position to say that I'm not happy that he travels, full stop. Excuse me, where did I go? I'm not happy for him to travel. I don't mind it. I'm... Hey, hey, where did I go? Where did I go? If you swear at me, you're going to be offloaded. Can I have a look at your boarding car, please? Aye, aye. Aaron's had enough and decides to put his foot down. Without a boarding card, Mr. Gillespie will not be allowed to fly. That's not a f***ing flight. Hey, I'm 
unfortunately not. Also in trouble are Struan Pires and his friend Ginge. They've missed their flight and the reason's becoming familiar. But there must be loads of other people that have been in one in this traffic, isn't there? There is, and they're still yet to come. They're trying to get to Barcelona for their best friend Chris's 21st birthday. It was only five minutes, it was only like five minutes difference. What, so what can you do then? Uh, there's no flights. Flight. Just, so. just had a look at Barcelona passport and Madrid. Away. There's no other flights tonight. Oh, yeah. uh, it's why we've got those destinations. And it was, got else going there, Malaga. We've got a Malaga. No, but we need to go to Barcelona. It's going to have to be tomorrow morning, or I can change it to Amsterdam for the weekend, a couple of days if you want. A.M. Yeah. I'm trying to go tomorrow. I'll do it free of charge for you. It's your mate's birthday, is it? Not anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because he came back for our birthdays, so that's why we want to go out for his. But obviously it's not going to happen. Unless he wants to come to Amsterdam. But before they can explore the joys of Amsterdam, they need to break the bad news to the birthday boy. Yeah, uh, really quick, we're going we're to Amsterdam instead. We're, we were late for flight, so the next flight's not till like tomorrow. So we're going to be coming. We're too late to get, get the flight, flight tonight, so we can't come out. I'm sorry, man, but we ain't got any other choice. Um, yeah, man, we're just like. Actually, I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> no, man. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. With friends like Struan and Ginge, who needs enemies? Certainly not Aaron. Robert Gillespie's been escorted through to departures and anxiously waits to see if he'll be allowed to fly. It's difficult to say. I mean, one of them's fine and the other one's an absolute pain. He's just got to calm his behaviour down. If he, you know, if he sorts himself out, then it won't be a problem. But he's just being rude and disruptive and I don't want that to happen to anybody on board an aircraft in a confined space, so I don't know. Aaron decides to get a second opinion from his boss. Whatever the outcome, the Edinburgh flight leaves in 10 minutes time. The duty manager takes Mr Gillespie to one side to judge whether he's fit to fly. The Bonanza Bar Malaga and for Elvis impersonator Martin Fox, it's a chance to impress some of his new fans. We met Elvis in the airport, and then we met him again on the plane, and we thought he sounded really good, so he invited us here tonight. I just didn't believe it, it was happening, and I still don't. i got to do my best, because they're all expecting a good show tonight, so uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm up for it, man, no problem. When tonight's gone, some will always remember. No, he, he took time out to come and talk to us, didn't he? He's very down to earth. It's just like Las Vegas. Very nice man. Very, very nice man. Welcome all the way from Las Vegas, Mr. Elvis Presley. Let's get ready to rock and roll. Go, man. Oh, here we go. We're calling the traffic. Oh. I can't walk out. Because I love you too much, baby. Oh. And just when Sue Lord thought her night at the Bonanza Bar couldn't get any better... Ladies and gentlemen, I met this beautiful lady on the plane, on EasyJet, on the way over, 6 o'clock in the morning, she was singing her heart out. Isn't that right, baby? Yes. Are you lonesome tonight? Hear me speak. Tonight, start crying, start crying. Are you sorry? We drifted. Apart. Is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? You see a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I'm absolutely yeah. gobsmacked. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. That was fantastic. We all really really gobsmacked. Mr. Yeah. Yeah. I've had a good night. Sing along, everything. He was excellent. Like, excellent. Yeah. Made my night. Absolutely made my night. Yeah. I think it's a drink. I think she's. <laughs> I love. I love whatever she's drinking because she was. Uh, she was up for it all night long. It was brilliant.
Following a head-to-head -head with Aaron's boss, Mr. Gillespie is still far from happy. Now it's a waiting game before he finds out whether he'll be allowed to fly. Shocking the way we've been treated. Like a collie dog. I've got two sheep dog, two, co two, co two collies. Right, I treat them better than I was treated today. I'm walking, lapping at that guy's. Where we got it? Where we got it? I've had time to reassess the situation, and um, he's had a few coffees now, and he's sobered up somewhat. He's actually apologised for the way that he's behaved, which is good, because he's realised that he's made a mistake, and that's fine. He's finally given the all clear, and with his friend, begins the journey back to Scotland. On the other side of the airport, yeah. Struan and Ginge seem right. to have overcome the guilt of missing their best friend's 21st birthday. It's fine to remain, yeah, he's, he's annoyed, and... Uh... We're really annoyed, but we have to make do. Amsterdam be a good laugh, so. We came back for our birthdays, so that's about all of that. We'll be right. I'm sure we'll get over it. I have to spend two days with him now. But Leo's about to present them with another dilemma. Cheers, Bit of good news for them if they still want to do it. The Barcelona flight they were due to be on has just had an aircraft change, which means it's going to be delayed, so we can now get them on it. If that's what they want to do. Probably quite happy with Amsterdam. So, will it be the temptations of Amsterdam or their best friend's birthday bash in Barcelona? Yeah, we're going to get to Barcelona. Yeah, yeah. Barcelona, Barcelona now. Well, we've got to get some. We've had an aircraft change, yeah, which means it's now delayed. Yeah, yeah. Barcelona it is, and they'll be back in their pals' good books after all. <laughs> Jatin and Harish conquered the chaos of the M1 and arrived at Gatwick just in time for their flight to Amsterdam. Robert Gillespie walked through his front door at 1am, four hours behind schedule. Yeah, you're fantastic. But sadly for Leo, he and Nadine remain just good friends. I'm loving your new song as well. Next week on Airline, there are tears of frustration. Get up at 5.30 for nothing. I don't want to do it. Tears of apprehension. Oh, God, I've gone so far. And for EasyJet's Rachel, tears of joy. Coming up.